Hello and welcome back to Baldur's Gate 3 as play, played as Darkheart. Um a mean one to that. Nope. By Sylvanas the tree father, our turmoil is calmed. Is it? discussion move no. off you go no We won't find out, apparently. Hmm. Huh. As you wish. Received a message from Hag via Siri from one of Nettie's birds. We buried Siri for ten days ago. Not sure how Hag found him. The message itself was a threat, but also an invitation. She wants to meet. Haven't replied. Buried surf again beneath a heavier stone. Hmm. I'm looking for a healer. Help me narrow the search. Find Nettie in her room. Through the carved door, deeper in the grove. Well, as you say, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Oh, that's interesting. Okay, we need to think about this, how this can be used. Please. I'm sorry. This is madness, Korga. She's just a a what, Wrath? A thief? A poison? A threat? I will imprison the devil. And I will cast out every stranger. A death viper. You have milked that poison before. A single drop of it could kill that child in a heartbeat. One of your guards outside said you wanted to see me. Here I am. We will speak soon enough. First, judgment must be passed. The parasite eats our food, drinks our water, then steals our most holy idol in thanks. Wrath, lock her up. She remains here until the rite is complete. And keep still, devil. Teela is restless. Come, Koga. We took back the idol. Surely... Do it. The snake's hiss of approval reveals its intentions. Should the child struggle, it is poised to strike. The death of a child. A timeless tragedy that never grows old. Let's read her mind first. Perfect. How sin is gone. I am first druid now. I will take control and prove my authority. Oh, 
I know that was. Your mind wants to the snake to kill the child, but your heart doesn't. Snap out of it. Her life matters more than satiating your dark fantasies. You focus, and they're gone. But clearly this child's life is in danger. Now, Rath! No. Ithias, Tila, to me. Gone. By the gods, Korga, what have you done? the remains. Continue the right. And the parents? They're just outside. This outsider will take word once I've spoken to him. We must focus on the right. The corpse is frozen in her final moment of agony. Well, at least you tried. She's dead. Oh, we could have taken advantage of that. She knew the danger. She still tried to run. Go on. Say it. You think I'm a monster? Mm, you're a moron, but... Too kind. A demon, more like. Not at all. That was quite a show. Monsters both, then. Viper to viper. No matter. I took back the idol of Sylvanus, and the writers resumed. We will seal the grove, free from harm, free of intruders. <laughs> free from the threat of little children. She stole the idol of Sylvanus during prayer, and interrupted the rite. Why? I don't know or care. <laughs> this rite must be born of powerful magic. The rite of thorns. It is the Tree Father's gift that none come to harm. When we speak the final prayer, the great vine will sprout forth. The grove will be cloaked in bramble and thorn. No one enters, no one leaves. Sanctuary. None of this can happen while outlanders infect us. Sylvanus demands that we choke them out. <sighs> Whatever. Corpse regards you lifelessly. Why did you steal the Druze idol? Hmm? Stop the ritual. I don't want to go. How did you end up in the Druid's Grove? El Terrell. Everyone was angry. We ran away. Do you have any valuables hidden around here? Not me. Mole. Hmm. Mercy on us, Sylvanus. Mercy. Mercy. Mercy.
Hmm. That snake must be held accountable. By every star, by every vein, on every leaf, she must. This has only happened because our true leader was taken from us. Kaga seems happy to rule the ro roost. Who's your real leader? Master Halsin. Perhaps Goblin called, perhaps dead. He'd set Mistress Korga back in line. Hold her to task. Stop this damned ritual. More will die if the rite is finished. So many more sent into a world gone mad. I'm looking for Nettie. Ah, I see. You will find her deeper in the caves. Great. S sounds like all the better leaf. It is what Korga desires. I doubt it is what Sylvanus wants. That's so pretty. She wants to speak. Oh, we just spoke. Yeah, no. I see you. Just give me a moment. Excuse me? I'm more important than some bird. God, our field mouse. No one's more important than the patient in front of you. This medicament. There. It's up to her now. Life or death. Now, what was it you needed? I need help. Now. Just be glad my bedside manner's better than yours. Come here. Let's have a look at you. You seem healthy enough. A bit tired around the eyes, maybe. Right. Yeah, I'm... Very tired indeed. Then get some rest. There's no better magic. Take a nip of whiskey before bed if you need to. Come back to me if that doesn't do it. Hmm. No blue leaf sap. Maybe we should wait with our visit. With healer. Yes. All right. Okay. We we didn't promise him anything, but no, we did not promise him anything. I don't need to speak to her on his account. Oh, I can't. I can go back to Avernus. Let's see what this does. Claw and tooth from root to thorn, the old oak's grove to wildlings sworn. The mural depicts a ritual, but you do not recognize the deity involved. Now that one probably. The towers seized, the battle done. The moonrise broke the darkest one. You recognize the mark of the dark goddess Shah on the broken helmet. This army marched in her name. Moonrise must be a reference to Shah's divine sister, Saluma. Why I became a druid, having second thoughts. In darkest hour, a concord made, twixt harp and wild against the shade. Harp and wild. You recall stories of an alliance between druids and the harpers, but the details are vague. And that was the last one of the plagues. I'm curious as to why we can come up here. I don't think we can follow up. 
Or go here. I want some invalid path. Okay, never mind. But since the Koga here is not has been re has replaced Hulk and who's supposedly to be the true boss of this grove. Cool. Um maybe it will, will do better if we don't get ourselves involved with them anymore. Good day, my friend. Okay, whatever. I just look that you can sell something. Uh, I was wondering what you are selling. It looks like they rode off on something, and I'm curious what that was. Oh well. Dance upon the stars tonight. Smile when pain will fade away. Words of mine will change. No. Hmm. How can I put this? This sounded a little unpolished. It sounded like a cat being strangled. God damn it! This grove could become battlefield soon enough. It's not time for music. I know. I should be packing up, but I need to finish this song. It's it's important. Let me help you finish it then. Mm. It can't hurt. I have her. I have an extra loot if you want. First things first. What's the song about? My teacher, Lihala. Mm. She loved dancing. Her two left feet, mine. I remember waking up one night on the road and seeing her. Dancing beneath the stars, a huge smile on her face. Thinking of it now, my heart hurts, and my words just seem to crumble like ash. Wait, words of mine will turn to ash. That's perfect. Okay, go on. Words of mine will turn to ash when you call the last light down. Yes, yes.
Sorry. Well, would you look at that growth? So lovely, so groove like. Very subtle. You're welcome. That's the first time I've played since Lihala died. My teacher. She was playing her lute. With didn't hear the gnolls coming. There was so much blood. Uh, I can still smell it. Mm, blood. Well, you've come with a fine tribute to her. Lihala said that's why eulogies were important. They were for the living as well as the dead. I'd forgotten what it was like. That itch to perfect a song. The Weeping Dawn will be my gift to Lihala. I've a long way to go. But thank you. I, I needed this. Too sweet. Odiously sweet. The vomitous gall within despairs at your kindness. <laughs> What now? Open. Open this chest, please. <laughs> it, it is a challenge for me, okay? I cannot open it with my big clothes. And a hat. When you spar an alley. Not happening. No. Never mind. Not during this adventure. It's, it's not my kind song. A song of mushrooms. Hmm. Thank you for saving. It wasn't me. I think this thing we have all in common a appreciation for fine arts. Something. And you should be the one doing the shoveling, but. Uh, well, maybe we should rest a little bit before we do anything stupid. And six to nine. Oh, I think it will be better for him. Well, hello. Four to seven. Not really. No. Let's get going. Okay. Show first. Freshened up and ready to fight. 
Come on, get over here. Such a pretty song. Oh. Wait, give me a moment. Because you can sneak. Even though it's noon. Try hiding there. Okay, you stay here. Wretched the rest of nope. Pull yourself together. Ah. Okay, never mind. I want to like this. Time to press ahead. And I will do a fail safe here. I know it's five, but you don't know. You don't know my. But look. Suddenly fades as the spell breaks. You are free. Get back. No, no. It's just a bit of water. I only want to listen. Just a little closer. Everything's gonna be fine once I get there. Hehe. <laughs> are you still sneaking? Yeah, you are. You're in danger. Okay. Can I now move myself up here? Great, thank you. How did you get there? That was fast. Oh, you too. Yeah. What, what happened? I wonder if 
this is worth the cost. Where are I going? I don't want to know. Um. Oh, sorcerer points give me nothing. I'm pretty sure you should run. I need to disengage. Huh. I have no idea how it works. Um. I don't trust your aim. Miss, miss, miss. Great. Hit the kid. Fish. Unless no. That leaves only one. Drink the potion. Coming through. That's an action. Eh. Sure. I have magic armor. Well, Need to find a way forward. Would have thought I simply am just so weak. Adventure, do you have against her? Oh, she's outside the range. Um, get closer. What now? Damned. Uh, are they gone? Stop sniveling, or they'll be back. They like these little tiffling kids. <laughs> now we need to get the laser back. Another step forward. They need healing. 
Sure you are. I think you oh there's something and the dagger. Well we can sell it. So it wasn't a huge waste of time. Oops. What's inside? Gold. Ring of colors, spray useless. Oh. If some kind of creature would ever want a trinket, you can always give it away. That's all we can find here. Looks like it. So let's get out of this grove of this not this way, not this way, but this way. And what else? What can we do? Mm. Let's get out of here. And oh, come here. I think we should rest. Yeah, although I have still most of my spell slots. But I mean, I can't get there. Of course, you can. These prove fragile. I know. I'm to end their misery myself. <laughs> Harsh. Remind me to stay on your good side. side. We're just prepared to be eaten. Wait, goblin truck or something like here? Okay, for some reason it shows that the key is not dead. Not this one. Ah, this one. Because we knocked him off. We knocked him out. There you go. I fight to save lives. <clears throat> but that will fit in my pack. Come on, get up. That's empty. Oh, a chesty. Featherfall. You're insinuating that I will need Featherfall somewhere here. Lies a bag enfolded in the chitinous struggling of spiders. A shiny gold coin pokes from its mouth. 
survey the spiders. The creatures clutch the pouch possessively. You have no doubt. A spider egg is nestled within. Hmm. Speak softly to the spiders in hopes of calming them. Nope. The spiders skitter about, more nervous than before. Now I can always try snatching the egg. Pincers pierce your flesh and take sheets up your arm and across your back. Okay, I'm telling you we are resting here. Yes. And of course everyone wants to talk. Oh my goodness. Wait there's a good moment to talk. Not this one. Nor this one. And this one no less worthy still. Less worthy still. <laughs> More riddles from my wrist and jester. I riddle thee not. I speak only what requires telling. Beyond mortal realms, there doth exist an amalgamation of spirits akin to thine own, ensnared by the treacherous cult of the Absolute, felled in its name. They bear great discontentment with their destiny. For a mere pittance of coin, I might summon the worthiest among them to lend aid to thy undertaking. Will they be joining me willingly? Most willingly, eh. forsooth. Their passions doth run deep for what hath been wrought upon them. Do you think I can trust these cultists? Suspicion always haunts the guilty mind. My services are all that I can proffer thee. What thou wilt do with them is for thee to undertake. Hmm. No, you are right. <sighs> Let's start with you. Although I don't think you will be staying with us through your head and down to too long. Feet. Ah, there it is. That shiver. Our little brain worms have made fast friends, it would seem. How do you feel? Confident. No tiny tadpole will be getting the best of me. Courage in danger shadow. I love to see it. But shouldn't the shadow have crept closer? Gone darker by now? Before the Elithid's unscheduled surgery, I'd felled hundreds of beasts and a fair few fiends. The tadpoles weakened me, suppressed greater talents, but beyond that, I've showed no signs of turning. No nausea, no pain, not even a hot flash. We could probably dig up some poison mushrooms if you're that keen to be sick. <laughs> I speak out of curiosity, not wishful thinking. At least I'll know to skip supper if you're doing the cooking. We could conjecture all night. I suppose the why doesn't matter so much as the what next. And that answer is plain as the horns on a war devil's head. We get these things out. Let's get some rest. Dawn comes sooner than we think.
A fine evening, don't you think? The moonlight shines warmly on us. The breeze caresses our faces. Hideous. All of it. Would that I were doing battle up there, among the tears. What do you mean by the tears? Look above. Watch the moon cross the sky. The tears follow behind it. Rocky bodies tumbling through the sea of night. One of them is my crush. Kalea. Are all Gifianke from the tears? Your curiosity is to be commended. Gifianke are hatched in crashes all throughout realm space. Kalea is one of many. It's there I first saw a Kithrak mount a red dragon. Where I slit my cousin's throats at the Vaj's command. But enough of this. You are wasting your resting time. Come dawn, we resume our search for a crash. Right, we're looking for a crash. You know, I've been thinking. Reflecting on what tomorrow might bring when we meet this goblin priestess. Will she know how to bring the worm under control? Will this little adventure of ours be over? What? Will you miss me? <laughs> Why not? You've been to the hells and back. Survived the crash. Survived everything that's followed. I'm not easily impressed by people, but you're stronger than I gave you credit for. Well, I have many talents, if you want to explore them. <laughs> A delicious thought, but... I'm joking, relax. Yes, of course. Me too. I think I'll just... Just clear my head. I'll see you later, I'm sure. Sleep tight. And to sleep we shall go. Okay, let's see. Hey. Oh, it will fix itself if you double click out of select. That's interesting. No one wants to talk? Great. So we are leaving and I'm gonna end this part right here. So for now, thank you very much. Stay alive and see you soon. Bye.